I don't know. What the fuck, man? I'm like, I don't get it. Right? Or Justin Timberlake is gonna, like, star in a new fucking movie. Uh, with Johanna, uh, Johnson, whatever the fucking name is. She's Scarlett Johansson. That lady's fucking hot. No, no, no disrespect. No offense. She's fucking hot, man. Yeah. With Tom Cruise and, and, and that, that Carmen Diaz lady. She's gonna make a, a fucking blockbuster hit or something. It's gonna, it's gonna be like super sexy and all, dude. No, it's still, they're not gonna get it. You know what? It would be fucking amazing. Queer Eye for the Straight Guys in fucking theaters, man. Like the movie. It'd be fucking funny. I, 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 I mean, I watch Will and Grace, and, I, and I'm still not gay, you know? I'm not in the closet, I'm not gay. I'm gonna grab another dude's ass and pretend like, like nothing happens and shit. You know, I don't date guys. You know what I mean? But I, I would totally see that, man. Yo, man, it's turn queer eye for the straight guy into a fucking movie. And we're Will and Grace with Scrubs or something, man. Scrubs, the musical. No, no, no. Gay. I'm not gay, but Will and Grace was fucking hilarious. And Queer Eye for Straight Guy had great fashion tips, man. Even though I'm not a very fashionable person. And I'm not gay. I would never take a new and all that other shit, you know? It's just way too in detail. But I'm like, yo. Why am I saying yo? I don't know. My Will and Grace would make an awesome fucking movie. Will and Grace in theaters, uh, fucking May, whatever. But I'm like, you know, uh, I don't like to shit to Sex and the City, man. It's very fucking entertaining, very fucking entertaining. I used to watch the show, the rewinds and stuff, without being a homo, you know. I had nothing against gay people, straight people, men, women, whatever, transvestites. I would, I would, you know, never inflict any type of whatever on it, people, but, you know, I don't know. It's Sex in the City, starring, uh, starring Jessica Parker, or Miranda, or, or, uh, the control lady who's, like, very fucking hot, and Samantha and all. Yeah. Yeah, that lady's all promiscuous and, 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 and. Proactive and shit, right? <laughs> like very assertive with the personality and, and 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 personification and all. Very interesting character. They're they're starring in, in a new sequel, Sex in the City Three, with the cry for the straight guy, dudes. Or Cool Intentions Three, starring fucking Reese Witherspoons and. And that, that hot chick, Sarah, Sarah Michelle Geller. That lady's hot. Like, mmm. Lady's fucking sex. When she's a man, never mind. She's not a man, right? I never met her, so I don't care. And, and, and Michael Oliver. Like, you know, you. We're in Get On. And this is action back, cool intention sequel. Torturing this guy named Ryan Felipe's character. Uh, it's gonna be hot. I don't know. Yo, if ever, like, like, written, written, like, shit. Fuck, I can't even write a script. I don't talk properly or, uh, with proper adequates. But if I ever, somehow, collected my thoughts and lived in, like, California as a scriptwriter, harassing the shit out of people or something, like, dude, read this shit. This is an awesome fucking. Like a pre-production idea. It's called Captain Fucking Obvious or some shit, you know? Like, like it's fucking obvious or something, it's right? I don't know. Like, it's gonna, it's like, you know, if you had like the white cast, they can, they can like, they can like, like really work in the chemistry of their, their performance to, to make the script all lively and shit. Like, 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 like real and relative, like very am amusing or something. You know, like, they're the right people, man. No, you don't get it. It's not, it's not, no, yeah, I know. Right, right. Bruce Willis. 
and Josh, Josh Hartnett, along with Tom Cruise and Lucky Number Seven, starring some some guy named uh, like like Avon fucking whatever man, and, 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 and Reese Witherspoon and shit. Yeah, it's fucking epic. It's this fucking sequel to whatever fucking first movie you had out. Uh, and, and then there's Captain fucking Obvious for like right next to it on, on, a, on a fucking post-release shit. It's too difficult to fucking phantom. Your mind will be blown. I don't know. Or, you know, here's a dramatic detail of a, a, a mentally handicapped fucking midget who's been in a fatal car accident whose who's fingerprints were found in the poo-poos and shit of some other fucking person, meaning that isn't it fucking obvious? It's being released today. I don't know. That movie is called Simple Edward. It's a simple Jack's booth. Right? No? There go. There. Right, man. If I was. If some character like me, with my frame and all, which was smaller some years ago, I ended up in some twisted metal event, I don't even think I'd be alive. You know, that should be like a quote, or within the fucking script, or some hypothetical movie I like to write or produce, and I don't have the means to produce it, damn it. Like, I'm a loser. I like producing, or, or composing music. But it might, if, if I ever lived in Hollywood, I think I'd be like a jack-of-all-trades guy. Like, like, I'd probably name myself Jack of All Trades. Like, renaming myself over there in fucking California. Hey, I would like to write scripts, uh, maybe even whatever, and then, like make fucking music, and then like work for different fucking companies, like, ah, oh, it's a nice game studio, we probably can use like a fucking writer, or, or, or a fucking musician or something for the soundtrack, you know, or hey, a fucking musician, artist, group, band, whatever over here, needs some fucking tracks or some crap. For music, I'm not an opportunist, but if I if I had my way and, and the thing was perfect here, I'd probably go along with that that scriptology of the the planet Earth role, you know? Like, yeah, Blah. I need to do my my radio fucking improv. Nah, man, I, I like the guy's great actor on his name. Then people might get the wrong idea. Like you're from this place, that fucking place, this place here, that place there, versus not speculating this obvious fucking place here. You know, where all the hookers live, legally and all. Yeah, let's disregard that fucking place. It's illogical. I don't know, but I like the guy who's a really good fucking actor. And he did an excellent role in radio. I think I, I can relate to that character so fucking much. I feel like that guy right now, man. The dark with the radio, you know. I don't know. I, I love movies, man. There's like the, the art of people performing. I, I, I actually have now like, analyze all of that. Like, wow, you really did put forth such great effort and and such depiction and 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 and, and, and detail of, of his performance. It's amazing and beautiful. Such art, craftsmanship of. Of drama and all, man. He's, he's like a master of the drama arts. You know, he got a lot of those fucking dudes out there. Like those fucking Emmy Award nominators and, and, and winners and stuff, man. They're beautiful. We need to make a video too. Stirring. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say Edward Norton, man. That dude is a beautiful actor. Ah, man, come on. I wish there was like an actor with the name Edward. Another one. Nah, 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 nah. Damn it. Shit. I right, fuck. Or Bruce Willis starring in Bruce Almighty 3 in theaters now. Or, like, like he's, he's like King of the Sears Towers. I don't know. Difficult, difficult. Yeah. Nah. I might get locked up for that. That is illegal. Mentioning this shit. You know, this shit is illegal. You shouldn't have mentioned it. Damn it. Fuck. Or Will 
Smith did RoboCop 3 or 4 or the new fucking RoboCop or, or Terminator 5 or some shit man or Demolition Man 2 or fucking what? Damn, Judge Dredd 3 some cool fucking movies ah oh, man oh, the movie ideas I don't know I don't want to say G.I. Joe. My movie looks awesome. And that's the eleven scene and I have it in here. You should watch it. Right now. No. I don't know what happened to G.I. Joe. We're gonna be fucking sweet. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. I'm like I don't know what the fuck Hollywood is smoking right now or snorting, but I'm like Ghost and fucking Shell would make an awesome fucking anime to fucking action movie, man. It'd probably make Eon Flux or fucking Ultraviolet. Like, 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 look like fucking cupcakes or something, you know? But fucking Ghost and Shell is a highly epic and highly anticipated fucking anime series and movie. Gone, gone cinematic theater. You know, that, that movie would kick a lot of fucking ass in the fucking box office. Box office, likely. Yeah, why the fuck are they made that shit into a fucking movie? Mate, you know what, currently, uh, I think The Matrix and Ghost in the Shell are kind of similar. But hey, they can, like, do a, a sequel to the fucking Matrix, which is really fucking awesome. Based on that shit, right? The Ghost in Shell. Matrix types of fucking technology or something. Maybe it's like a fucking prequel of the Matrix. Matrix, uh, Ghost Bonds or something, right? I don't know, no, no, no. Wouldn't be a good idea. Damn, man, maybe I should go to college and, 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 and major in like entertainment business, finance and management. I don't know, right? I don't know. I think I suck at this type of shit.